Hello everyone, you know me as the Pet Photographer. My legal name is Keiki Alexander Bailey, Keith Alexander Bailey, and I worked for Porchlight for almost 11 months. And I was uh, applying for benefits and now I was denied and then I was approved. And then now it says that it's being held pending a resolution due to an outstanding issue. Now, if you Google that information, you can see that it says usually we need additional information from your employers to resolve the issue. If the issue is being investigated is a discharge, we often send out a letter. Now, I did get a letter, but it was only one letter that I picked up last week that, that stated that I was confirmed for the benefits. Now, I don't know what's going on, but let me show you guys something here. I have been calling the DWD unemployment office so many times and never can get through. So if we call right now, watch. That's what I get. I emailed them, I never heard from them. Try to do it again. Nothing. So, what's the point? I think the DWD in Wisconsin is a big failure and they're using an old system, which I, I think it's called COPL, something like that. And they haven't been upgrading that system. Now, uh, last week or 10 days ago, the governor of the state decided to waive the one week waiting period. Now, I've been waiting almost a month, and seven days from now, it will be one month. And I applied for my benefits on the 29th of March. Uh, now, Portulite is one of those employers that I had was, it was very, I wasn't gonna say this and take this with a grain of salt, it was nothing but this discrimination, harassment, racism, you know, abuse of power, and I couldn't deal with it anymore. For 11 months, since May 9th, I worked for them. And it seems like no one wants to address any of my issues. And it seems like HR, which is responsible by providing this information to the DWD of Wisconsin, Fail to do so. This is why my benefits have probably either been denied or pending because they need additional information. I'm trying to call them because I want to provide that information. And that's all I get. So I've been trying yesterday, I've been trying all day this morning, I've been up since 4.30 trying to get things in order. And it just seems like they don't want to help Wisconsinites and people that come to the state to work for the city to get unemployment benefits. I have a right to claim these benefits. I've been through so much pain and suffering with Porchlight. Not only that, I had to move because they hired someone that was very unbalanced and started harassing me, stalking me. It, it, that, kind of, that kind of employment is not suitable for anyone at this time. That's why uh, I gave in my imagination and told them that I was gonna leave in May. But due to the, the circumstances right now, due to the pandemic, my roommate was actually tested positive and we lived, we lived with each other and she is not here because uh, she's in California and she is afraid to come back to Wisconsin and because they told her if she comes back here she still has to quarantine for an additional 15 days. I was quarantined for 18 days and I just got out of quarantine last week and I'm still going to quarantine myself because uh, people are not listen to the guidelines here in Wisconsin. I see people walking outside with no face mask, no gloves, no sanitizer. It just, it's just, it's ridiculous. But anyway, back to the unemployment benefits. I'm eligible for it. They deny me. 
I just feel like this is just ludicrous because I put my soul and heart into working for this comp this organization and all I got was nothing but an abuse. But anyway, and the HR is not providing that information to the DWD and they are withheld weeks of weeks of unemployment benefits from me and I need it right now. So with that said everyone, I've been affected just like you all that live in Wisconsin. I just think they need to they need to I know that the DW is short on staff and want to hire people, but right now it's not the time to point fingers. I'm not trying to point the fingers. I'm just trying to share a story and try to share an experience with you guys so you guys understand where I'm coming from. It is, this is unbelievable. And I just think it's it, try, me trying to call all the time. Yeah, I'm trying to call, it's not getting through. I emailed them, they haven't got back to that email. Because if you go to their website, you can get in contact with them, you can send them a request form. And I told them that I'm running out of food, I'm running out of money, and it's time you guys need to step up. You know, it's been almost a month and no one look, looks at my claim. No one's tried to attempt to call Porchlight and ask for this additional information if they did it's probably because HR has never answered her phone and HR never does replied back on time with emails text messages or phone calls now you guys understand why I no longer want to work for porch light and if you look at this channel you can see a history of evidence of abuse of power discrimination Etc. Etc. I don't want to go too far into this conversation, but yeah, this is what it is. This is what's come to for you people. Uh, it's not very. Uh, it's not looking good for me. And other than that, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.